Hello students, welcome to my channel Engineers Academy. Let's solve this problem. In this problem it is said that calculate the forces in member BC, BE and EF of this given truss, right? And further we are, further it is said that solve for each force from an equilibrium equation which contains that force is the only unknown, right? So this statement says that you people have to solve this by writing an equation which only contains only one unknown at a time right so one equation and one unknown right so we have to solve it like this right so we have to identify the points so first we need to find the forces in bc be and ef so what i will do is that i will pass a cutting section through this bc this be and this ef right since they are the forces that we are required to determine right so now if I pass a cutting section and remember that this BC length is, let me write that this BC length is given, this is 3 meters, right? So this is 3 meters, this is given. So now we will pass a cutting section, right? Through this BC, through this BE and this EF, right? So let's isolate this, right? So now we will consider this uh, right hand side of this given truss, right? So this will be the BC member force. Let's say that it is acting away, right? So let's say this is BC. This will be BE force and this one will be EF force, right? Let me write it there. This is EF force. So in this given statement, we have to find BC, BE and EF one by one and we have to write such an equation that it only contains BC, BE or EF at a time, right? So if we want to find BC, so then if we if we apply the summation of moment about point E equals to zero, so as we can see that this BE and this EF, they are passing through this point E, so they will not come into our equation, so they will be eliminated, right? And in this equation, we will have only this BC as an unknown, right? Which is required, which is which is stated in the statement that you people have to solve this problem by having only one unknown in your equation, right? And let's say that the counterclockwise moment is positive, right? So now as we can see that this BC is producing the counterclockwise moment about that point E, right? So I will write BC and the perpendicular distance of this BC from that point E is this 2 meters, right? So we will multiply this with 2. And similarly, as we can see that this 14 kN force is producing the clockwise moment about this point E. So we will write minus 14 and the perpendicular distance of this 14 kN force from that point E is 3 meters, right? So we will multiply this with 3 and this will be equal to 0. So from this BC equals to 3 into 14 divided by 2. So from this we get BC equals to 21 kilonewton. And since this BC is acting away from this point C and we got the positive sign, right? So this means that this BC force is the tension force, right? Now to uh, find this EF force, we can eliminate both of these BC and BE from our equation if we want, if we find the summation of moment about this point B equals to zero, right? So if I write that the summation of moment about point B equals to zero and let's say that the counterclockwise moment is positive. So now as we can see that this BE and this BC, both of these are passing through this point B, so they will not come into our equation, right? So only we will be left with this EF which is unknown, right? So before going to write this equation, first we need to have the angle of this EF force with the horizontal, right? So let me write that. If, if I draw a triangle here, let's say, if I draw a triangle here, if I complete this triangle, right? So this BF length is three meters, right? This whole length is given, this is three meters from here. This length is 2 meters, right? So this means that if we consider this EFP triangle, let's say, so then this EP length is 1 meters and this FP, the base of this triangle is 2 meters, right? So now we can, we can find the angle of this EF with the horizontal, right? So let's say that this angle is alpha. So now if, 
if we find this alpha by using this triangle so what we will do is that we will write 10 alpha so 10 alpha will be 1 divided by 2 from this triangle right so then alpha will be equal to 10 inverse sorry this is not 2 meters this is 3 meters right so this is 3 meters so 10 alpha 1 divided by 3 so i will write 1 divided by 3 so then this will be 10 inverse 1 divided by 3 and from this alpha equals to 18.43 degrees right so this is the angle of this ef force with the horizontal right so now we know this angle so now if i resolve this force into its components right so this ef force will have two components if we resolve the ef force at this point f so then it will have one component which will be acting in this direction right and similarly it will have one component which will be acting in this direction vertically downward right so then this one will be the cos component right this will be ef cos of alpha and this one will be the sine component right now if we apply the summation of moment about point b equals to zero and let's assume that the counterclockwise moment is positive right so as we can see that this cos component is producing the clockwise moment about that point b right so we will write that this is minus ef cos of alpha and alpha is 18.43 and the perpendicular distance of this cos component from that point B is this 3 meters which is given, right? So, we will multiply this with 3. And similarly, this 14 kN force is producing the clockwise moment about that point B. So, again, I will write minus and this is 14. And the perpendicular distance of this 14 kN force from that point B is 6 meters, 3 plus 3, right? So, we multiply this with 6 and this will be equal to 0. So, from this EF force equals to 14 into 6 divided by minus 3 cos of 18.43 degrees and from this ef equals to 29.5 kilo newton with minus sign right so this minus sign indicates that this EF force is acting in the opposite direction, right? So, if it is acting in the opposite direction, so this means that this EF force is compressive force, right? So, we can write that EF equals to 29.5 kN and this is compressive force, right? Now, to find this BE force, we have to identify such a point so that this BC and this BE they are eliminated from our equation right so this will happen when when we extend the line of action of this bc force and this e, ef force so the line of action of this bc force and this ef force will intersect somewhere right so now if if i extend the line of action of this ef force right in this backward direction right if we extend it like this right and if we extend the line of action of this bc force right so if i extend the line of action of this bc force so they will intersect somewhere right and let's say that this intersection point is let's say point h right so now if we apply the summation of moment about point h equals to zero so what will happen is that bc and ef force they will not come into our calculation right since this bc and this ef the line of action of both of these forces are passing through that point h right so let's assume that the counterclockwise moment is positive right so before going to apply this equation what we need to do is that we need to have the angle of this be force with the horizontal right so if i draw a a horizontal line here right so let's say that this angle is beta so if this angle is beta so then this angle is also beta right so we have to find this beta angle right so if we if i apply 10 theta to this bce triangle so if we write that 10 beta equals to this this two meters divided by the base which is three so from this beta equals to 10 inverse two divided by three and beta equals to 33.69 degrees right so now this be force is making 
33.69 degrees with the horizontal right now if if we resolve this be force at this point b so it will have two components right this be force will have one component which will be acting vertically upwards like this at that point b and similarly this be force will have one another component which will be acting like this right and remember that here we have that bc force as well right so let me draw it a bit smaller right so this will be the cost component right this one will be be cause of beta and this one will be this one will be be sine of beta so now as we can see that this cos beta this component that cos component of be is passing through that point h so it will not produce the moment about that point point h so only this sign component of this be is producing the moment about that point h right so now as we can see that this sign component is producing the clockwise moment about that point point h so we will write minus be sine of beta and beta angle is known that is 33.69 degrees and the perpendicular distance of this sine component from that point h is this bc plus cd and plus this dh which is unknown right this dh length is unknown right so let's say that this dh length is x right so first we have to find this x length right so that in order to know the perpendicular distance of that be sine of beta component from that point h otherwise we will not be able to solve it right so the perpendicular distance of this sine component from that point h is we can write that this is 3 plus 3 plus plus x right so we have to find this x distance otherwise we will not be able to find this be right so let me complete this equation right so as we can see that this 14 kN force is producing the counterclockwise moment about that point h so again i will write plus 14 kN and the perpendicular distance of this 14 kN force from that point h is x right so we will multiply this with x right and this will be equal to 0 so in this equation we have that x unknown that x distance from that point h so we can find that x distance right if if we if i draw a horizontal line here and if i complete this triangle so as we can see that if this angle is alpha so then this angle is also alpha and alpha is known that is 18.43 so now if if we consider this ceh triangle right so from ceh triangle we can write from ceh triangle we can write tan alpha equals to this 2 we can write tan alpha equals to 2 divided by this 3 plus x so we will write it like this this is 3 plus x right and from here we know that tan alpha is 1 divided by 3 so this means that 2 or we can say that 1 divided by 3 equals to 2 divided by 3 plus x and if we cross multiply this so then this 3 plus x equals to 2 into 3 which is 6 so from this x is equal to 6 minus 3 so x is equal to 3 meters right so now we know this x which is equal to 3 meters so i can write that this is equal to 3 meters right so now we can substitute that x in this equation right so this is 3 so this means that we have to multiply this with 9 right so this is minus 9 we can write it like this so this is minus 9 and this x is 3 so this will be multiplied with 3 right so from this be equals to minus 3 into 14 divided by minus 9 sine of 33.69 degrees so from this be equals to plus 8.41 kilonewton right and as we can see that this be is acting away from this point e and since the sign is positive so this means that this is the tension force right so this is the solution of this particular problem right we know this bc force this ef force and this be force right which was required